It is the tallest building in New York City and the tallest condo tower in the Western Hemisphere. Robert Frank joins us now with an exclusive look at the new Central Park Super Tower. Robert. Uh, Morgan, it is an oversupply in the sky. Now, starting tomorrow, this building will officially become the tallest residential tower in the world, topping out at 1,550 feet. So, yes, you actually look down on the Empire State Building, but it is also one of the most expensive condo projects ever with $4 billion worth of condos that they're going to have to sell. And this, of course, in one of the weakest luxury real estate markets that we have seen here in New York since the financial crisis. Now, the buildings in this unit, there will be 179 of them priced at around six to 7,000 per square foot. We talked to the developer who said that he's confident, even in this market, that this building will sell. Overall, we're cautiously optimistic that we're, we're gonna continue to sell and you know, sell enough and get through the downturn. It's not really demand. It is supply. If you look over my shoulder, we have two of the big new towers just going up here and then more on the way. Now, one in four condos that have recently been built in New York since 2013, one in four of them remains empty. Now, this building, in addition to the condos, it has a seven-story Nordstrom Tower, a Nordstrom store down below. And this apartment here will sell or is priced at around $70 million. So with prices like that, and a market with so much supply, the question is whether and how much they will have to discount to get these apartments sold. Guys, back to you. Gosh, I wonder at that height, I wonder if the building sways. So many questions, but Robert Frank, thanks for giving us a look inside.